What is going on guys? This is Daniel, and today I'll be breaking down the Warriors' very impressive offense, which was ranked second in the NBA during the regular season, and they of course have lots of talent, and that's the main reason their offense is so good, but they're also well coached, they run nice set plays, and they also push the tempo as they ranked number one in pace during the regular season, so let's start with that. The Grizzlies miss a shot and the Warriors immediately outlet the pass and they're gone. They're looking for an easy shot and here they get a Klay Thompson transition 3. Their excellent defense is important as it allows them to get out in transition often and here again Klay Thompson hits a 3 in transition. And it doesn't always have to be Curry who leads the break. Here Iguodala gets the rebound and he simply takes it himself, he's more than capable as a ball handler and distributor. Warriors force a miss, and watch here Draymond Green how in transition he'll set a screen allowing Curry to get going and it forces Marc Gasol to switch out on him. Green can also roll to the basket, but here Curry simply shakes off Gasol and nails a 3. On this transition opportunity, maybe someone should have cut to the basket, but notice the perfect spacing and they get a wide open 3. Let's talk about the Warriors pick and rolls where Curry has an enormous impact. Here Green sets the ball screen, and notice how Courtney Lee, who's guarding Green, must step up because Curry is so dangerous as a 3 point shooter. A simple pass back to Green rolling, and they have a 4 on 3, and here it leads to a Thompson 3. Curry's shooting prowess forces Randolph to come much higher than he'd like, and also notice how Azili rolls to the basket and Iguodala fills in behind him. This is crucial for spacing and it allows Iguodala to get a wide open 3 here. The extra attention to Curry often leaves the defense scrambling in their rotations, and here ironically they try to prevent a Curry 3, but he gets it anyway. Curry is a willing passer when he gets trapped, and watch here how Iguodala passes up on a good shot to get a great shot for one of his teammates. Randolph has to step out higher than he typically does, freeing up the roll. Here's a double high ball screen for Curry, Memphis still has to hedge on Curry's ball screen, and then this frees up the Barnes pick and pop. Defenses will try to double Curry, but even still, he'll hit a few of these kinds of shots every game. Let's move on to set plays, and this one's called double exit. Clay Thompson has a choice of pin downs, and here when he curls the pin down and Jeff Green steps out, he can deliver the perfect pocket pass to Barnes. Same pin down action, and here Marcus Gasol does not step out on Thompson's curl, so Thompson can get into the lane and shoot an easy floater, though he misses here. The Warriors also run motion strong where they swing it across the top and then set either a single or double screen. And after that they like to hit the high post and then set up a pin down here for Clay Thompson. So they get into their basic motion strong action, they'll hit the high post, and here the pin down on the weak side is for Iguodala who nails a 3. Same motion strong. They'll hit the high post, and watch on the weak side pin down action how Bogut will slip the down screen. Very nice. The Warriors run strong a lot, so next time you watch them, just keep an eye out for it. And here, watch how Conley will blow up this weak side pin down by denying Curry beautifully. But the Warriors don't stop. They keep going, the movement is nice, they set some screens, and here they get a back door cut, though Livingston stepped out. Oftentimes the pin down action will not be open, and here when Barnes catches it at the high post, the pin down is not open, so he simply isolates, and this is a pretty difficult shot, which he hits. It's usually not open, but the first look in motion strong is the down screen action when they reverse it, and here Thompson comes off those screens and hits a nice shot. I'll link my motion strong and motion weak videos in the description if you don't know how those plays work. Here's motion weak, the flex action is not effective here, but they keep moving and green can eventually take Gasol off the dribble. Floppy is a common NBA set to free up a shooter with some baseline screens and it works fine for Curry here. I'm not the biggest advocate of the play floppy, but when you're running it with Curry where he just needs a bit of daylight to get off a great effective shot, it certainly is a play they should run. 
Here's their weave play where they'll execute a few dribble handoffs and then set a ball screen for clay, and this is effective here. Very basic, but it provides movement and is also a nice end of quarter play. They run it here, which gets Steph Curry a wide open three. I love simple back screen plays with the goal of getting a layup, and that's exactly what they run here as Thompson back screens for Green. Very simple, one pass and then boom, a back screen for Green, and this play works well. Look at this, a baseline out of bounds play run to perfection. Clay will set a pin down for Curry, and Curry will receive a dribble handoff. Green will roll to the basket, and look at Thompson. Watch how he'll fill in behind Green, and this is intentional that he's in this position, because usually Lee would be the one to bump down on Green, but you can't help off Clay Thompson, so he can't help. On the weak side, they have Barnes and Iguodala because they're in their small ball lineup, so Randolph and Carter can't leave those two capable shooters. It's Curry receiving the dribble handoff, so Gasol has to come out higher than he usually does, all of this adds up to no one covering green rolling right to the basket, and it's an easy layup. Beautiful. The Warriors also do a great job of exploiting matchups. Randolph is on Barnes here, so they simply get it to Barnes, and he blows right by him, and it's a dunk. They'll push the ball. Barnes will set a screen similar to what we saw Green set earlier for Curry. They'll get it to Barnes, who blows right by Randolph. He misses the shot inside. They get the offensive rebound. And notice how they move it well. They're extremely unselfish. And all of this leads to a wide open corner three for Curry. And you can book that. Isolations, post ups, not exactly the way to go, but here they find Clay Thompson matched up against Conley, and this is a clear mismatch, so they nicely get it inside to Thompson, who shoots over Conley. Livingston finds himself matched up against Udrich, so he takes him to the post. Nice spin move, and it's a layup. We all know Sean Livingston post-ups are not going to win you championships, but he's a good post player, so picking his spots here and there can be effective. Well, there you have it guys. The Warriors defense is also elite, and I made a video on that a while back which got deleted on YouTube. So if you want to re-watch it, or you haven't seen it, then check the description as I posted it on Google Drive a while back. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.